Well, welcome back, my friends, all to a fun one, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Outdoors. Now, this is a different one. This is the CCK-01XL from Half Breed Blades. Okay, this is a compact clearance knife. I want to make a couple of things clear. This is a stabber. This is a get off of me knife. This is not in any way a throwing knife. It's not in any way a fighting knife. This is a knife designed to get someone off of you and get to your primary weapon. Spartan Blades was the first to make these. They don't get the credit. They should. And let me just say this. When Halfbreed reached out, they said, hey man, you want to try this? And I said, yeah, because anything they do, I really, they're just one of those companies. They make cool shit. They make fun shit, but they make stuff that's tough. It's durable. I know I can beat it up. While this was challenging, the first thing they said was, listen, check out Spartan Blades. Check out theirs. Halfbreed's a fan of Spartan. So when we had Curtis Iavito on, Blade Talk with Scab and Joe, I talked to him about these type of, of weapons. That's what this is, okay? Basically, if you look at this, yes, it looks like a dagger. Now, only one side is sharpened. This one has serrations. This one's in Bowler K110. What this was made for was close quarters combat, okay? If you cannot get to your primary weapon, this was designed to pull and stab. That's what it's for. I mean, we're not going to beat around the bush. Everybody knows that Curtis and Mark, the owners of Spartan, were operators. They operated quite a bit at a high level. That is from the horse's mouth. Half-breed themselves said, look, Spartan was the first to make these. They were not the first to sell them. They made these because this is a military style dagger. Okay, now, fast forward. And, and much love to Spartan. Y'all know I love them. And big credit to Halfbreed, man. That that speaks volumes to me. But this is a Halfbreed video, so let's focus on that. Again, Halfbreed, I've, I've now done probably 10 to 12 pieces from Halfbreed. They're all tough. They're all sharp. They all do well. They're well built. They're like tanks. This is, this, this is the most challenging uh, blade I've ever reviewed on this channel. Why? Because it's a stabber. This isn't a bushcrafty knife. It, it's not. It's not a fighting knife. It is a dagger. It is a stabber. You're going to hear that a lot because I, I can't stress that to you enough. Now, I am a knife channel. There are only certain things that I can do. Now, they sent me half breed. Shout out to them, man, because they sent me the red, which is a trainer. They sent the CCK 01XL, the CCK. 01 Gen 2. They sent two different trainers. I'm going to tell you this. That's a solid steel trainer. That in and of itself is a non-lethal weapon. Now, you can use that to get a feel. You can use that to get, but that thing right there, that the, the trainer, listen, don't be fooled by that. When I do the next video, the CCK Gen 2, I'm going to go in depth more on the trainers and the carrying capabilities. These are designed uh, for Molly, for PALS, or they put a tech lock. Now, one thing that Halfbreed does, they do several things well. One, their packaging is immaculate. I showed y'all that up front, and while I'm not a big packaging guy, everything they do is first rate. It just is. The other thing they do is they make sure they give you several options to carry. Now, I basically scout carry this. I belt carry it. It has G10 handle scales, K110 steel. It's sharpened on one side. It has serrations. Let me give you some quick specs. Now, right here, I just wanted to get a feel for the knife. I'm not a knife fighter. Y'all know that. I'm not a veteran. Although we support them, I'm not one. I don't pretend to be something I'm not. I've been stabbed, okay? It's not fun, but at the same time, all I can do is check out the build on this, kind of show you the sharpness, have fun with it. I wanted to have fun with this video and it was a lot of fun. It has a great balance point. When I talked to Curtis, Curtis said the original concept for these was a broken pair of scissors. And if you look at it, if you look at this, this looks like half of a pair of scissors. Why? Because if the enemy tackled you or seen it, 
they'll recognize a knife. Certainly they'd recognize a rifle, but if they seen a half a pair of scissors, they're not, it's not going to register. Now I'm not saying these were made to emulate that, but you see the beginnings of it. Now, you also have some really, really good jumping on top. I did a lot of stabbing and I did a lot of throwing. Okay. And again, I, I wanted to cover as much as I could as far as a little bit of history on the knife, a little bit about the build, shout out to half breed, all of that. Guys, when you do these kind of videos, and, and I'm a working man, y'all know that. I mention that all the time. I'm, I'm a guy, I, I run a sandblasting and powder coating thing. I do both of them. The thing is this, I'm not really set up. We don't have a lab. We don't have a bunch of, we don't do self-defense stuff. That's not my, my, my gimmick, right? It's not my stick. So I wanted to give you the best look. We're going to stab some, some tire tread. Why do I do that? Well, it's a tough thing to stab. So you can get a feel for the knife. The other side is stabbing the tire tread, it provides some resistance. Some of that is, is still reinforced, some is not, right? So it's a good way to check the tip. It's a good way to check the edge. I opened up the video stabbing and tire and cutting it. Why? Because I stabbed high and pulled right up where, where that reinforced was. Some of that was still reinforced. Did it do any uh, damage to the edge? No, none. Halfbreed does a great job with their heat treat. They make sure that everything is sharp. Now, stuff like this, you're not going to do that with this knife. This isn't even a knife you're going to take with you. You know, if you take it hunting, you're going to take a field knife. This would be a knife that I take. I take this knife a lot on my walks. I'll tell you the other thing I take is that trainer. Why? It's non-lethal. You're not going to get in trouble. But I promise you this, that trainer is solid steel, weighs the same, feels the same. And if you get somebody in the ribs, if you were to get somebody on you, and I know we all talk about guns and all that bullshit. Mostly it's people that's never been in a fight that talk about them. I know it's a real thing, but I also know that fights are up close and personal. They happen in a split second. People get on you in a split second and you're left to fend for yourself. That trainer is going to dent somebody's ribs up real bad or hit them with a brachial thing or just hit them inside the, the head with it. Now, the dagger that I'm holding now, the actual blade itself is not sharpened on both sides. It's not sharpened all the way down on both sides. It's not meant to be. This is simply, th these things were made for high-end military personnel, high-end operators. So basically what they wanted to do is jab it jab you, get to their primary weapon, and end your life. I mean, let, let's just be real. Now, if you stab somebody in the neck or something like that, that'll do it. You can defend yourself, yes, but please know that you are going to jail when you do so. Here's a real good look at it. It's just beautifully done. It's got some nice fullers, uh, wicked serrations on there. And that's what this is for, right? This is, this is as much a deterrent as anything. Now, you'll notice... You'll notice you have a thing there on the handle. I'd be damn, I'm drawing a blank. But it's it it orients the blade, right? You know that the notch there, and that's what we'll call it a notch. Now we'll be quiet. The notch is on the side where the edge is, so it's easy to orient. With an asymmetrical design like this, it's nice to have something that you can orient the blade. Personally, I carry it with the blade down so that when I pull up, the blade is facing out and it's facing away from me. Now, you say, Scab, it's not bushcraft. It's not, guys. But but with stuff like this, now, as we grow and as we build and as we go, I'm going to look at getting some dummies and some gel and things like that. Kirk and I are already in the process of talking about some different things we can do. I wanted to do a little bit of batoning and things like this for this to show you the toughness of the blade. Half breed, seriously, and I've said this many times, even in this video, but I'm very, very impressed. Half breed's one of those companies that you can walk up, you can pick up one of their things, you can throw it into a wall, you can throw it. I, th I was throwing this thing earlier, even though I'm, and I'm telling y'all, this is not a throwing thing. I can't stress that enough. It looks like a kunai. I know that it's not, but you know, Scab, I'm going to throw it. You've seen me throw it several times in this. Throwing it also in a, in a review or a video, it also helps. Is there any damage to the tip? Does the tip bend? No. Did the edge roll? No. Did the handle scales come loose? No. 
How does it fly? Like a champ. It really does. I put out a short um, earlier. I pulled the Steins. Big out. Big shout out to Steins versus Knives. I threw this some bit straight at a pumpkin, stuck it one time, went around and got a little too cocky and hit myself in the forearm. That's just me. I'm not going to apologize for it. I put a short out of it. I told y'all, I'm going to show you everything. Now, I probably stayed a little long on the batoning, but again, wanted to put a little pressure on the edge. This is a tool, like I said, I take it walking. You can take it hunting, camping. There, there's other threats out there other than people. We get so immersed in that. And let me just say this to you too. There are times, guys, we get so carried away, you know, well, if they come in your house or, you know, you got to have a gun and dwell on the street. Guys, you're not going to get jumped by SEAL Team 6. It, it, you're a dead man walking if you do, or any height. You're going to get jumped by Crackhead 6, right? So sometimes a little common sense, situational awareness, and the right tool for the job will get you a lot farther. I don't want you to go to jail. I'm not telling you to buy this to go to jail. I want you to be smart and I want you to be wise in what you do. If you are a person and we've got a situation that's brewing, I'm going to bring the light in the next couple of weeks where, where an where active duty military officer had to defend himself with a knife. Unfortunately, the other person lost his life. He was cleared, but it was quick. It was fast. It was in a blink of an eye. And I'll bring you that story coming up. I say that to say he kept his head. He practiced situational awareness and he went home to his family. That's what this thing is designed for. Would I carry it? I already do. Know the legalities of it in your state, your city, please. That said, guys, there was a time in this country where 22 veterans a day took their own lives. Guys, I'll say it until we're not a channel anymore. Vets, we love you. You have a place here. Personally, I back the blue. I take a lot of grief from it. Some legit comments, some are idiots. I don't shove it down your throat. It's a personal belief. Finally, if you are an addict, and I am, never quit quitting. Well, I'm scabbed. You're not. And before I say I'm gone, son, I wanted to show y'all one more thing. This is the trainer. I did a quick look, but now listen. This is what I was saying. You see the notch here, so you know when you pull it. The trainer, just take a good look. It's solid steel. Um... Now, I believe these might be aluminum handle scales, but you can see right here that this would still be, you could do all that stuff. I, and again, I'm not a knife fighter. I'm not pretending to be, but Half Breed provides these. There are times, and I'll, I'll pull this one just to show you, make sure I can, fits the sheath. I'll do it this way, just so you can see again. If when you pull this, I like to carry this down like this. That way, when I come up, it's like this, right? Now, I've never had to do that on somebody, but but if I would ever have to, I want it where I can get it out. You carry it how you want. I'll show you again some more of the carry systems as we go. I'm scab. You're not. I love y'all, man. Half breed blades, the CCK01 XL. I'm gone, son.